I want to talk a little bit about the project browser and different ways to organize that. You, know, you can see how I organize my browser. And this is basically uh, my template. We'll start out with this. And I have uh, my plans in a special spot they start out, because that's basically what I'm going to start out with. They're my floor plans. So I have those uh, in a uh, category all by themselves. And then as I'm working my design, my clients are going to want to see the uh, areas of the floor. So I have, uh, you know, I have that as well, but I don't leave that maximized. I can leave that minimized. And then I, as I'm proceeding with my uh, design, then I might go to my dimension plans so I can make that larger. And as, as I really progress, I'll go to my ceilings. But these are things that will occur later on in the process. My first floor framing, frame, second floor, basement framing. So you can see I leave all of those minimized, but my elevations are important to me. So I do work on my elevations. Uh, I leave that category maximized. So if I want to see a front or a left or a rear or the right elevation, um, then I can easily click to that. I have three folders for thread 3D. I have my main 3D, which is, um, I have two screens. So you're looking at the smaller of the screen. I have a Surface Pro. And I use that as, I put my browser and my uh, project browser and my properties uh, in that. And then I put my 3D view here. So whatever I'm doing, I can always see the 3D. Then on my other screen, the big monitor, I have the real estate for actual working on it. And that, that turns out to uh, work very well for me. So, uh, but if I wanna see a larger or other 3Ds, then I'll just maximize that. And then I have my sections. Now I have two main sections when I'm working on the uh, design uh, and construction documents. And until I get really towards the end, I, I will have a third, um, you know, in sub subsequent uh, sections. But I always start with just two. And then I have my stacked walls, a section that goes through my stacked walls, because I have a lot of stacked walls that are created. And I'm going to explain this in just a moment. I'll just get through my organization here. And then, then I'll show you how to organize it, however that works uh, for you. Uh, because this is clearly not what comes standard with your Revit uh, project. And it's pretty simple to do that. The complexity is trying to figure out how it works best for you. Anyway, then I have my uh, other sections you know, and I have uh, my structural. And then as I put my framing in for my projects, I'll work on my structural framing for the different floors. So I have a top plate and a bottom plate and the walls themselves. And I put my framing in there that way. And then I have final one back down here that's called other stuff. So if we go, let's see if I can switch to here. Yeah, so here's my main real estate. And as you can see, I have a section through my stacked wall. So if I need a stacked wall, I'll find it. I will highlight it. Um, and then I will copy it. I have that stack, my stacked walls. Again, this is starts with a template. So all of my stacked walls are over here and I'll simply highlight the one that I want and then I can see it over here. You need to make it a little bit bigger here. Yeah, so I'll be able to see it over here, the one that's uh, highlighted, for example, this one. And then I will simply copy that over there. I don't do create similar because there are different heights here and it doesn't seem to work too well, uh, create similar. So I just copy it over and then put it in place. So anyway, the reason I use two sections now, ZE for zoom extents, is I have my sections open. And then if I'm curious about what's going on here, my, that where my section will be, but if I wanna come back, say, and take a look at what's going on here, notice it changes right away. So I can, I can see whatever I want by simply moving that rather than right clicking and saying, go to view. I have these sections up at all times. 
So that works out very nicely for me, the way that I work. And then I can work on a floor plan uh, and move my sections around. And then when I'm finished, when the plan is ready to go into const real construction documents, then I'll put all my building section lines in here and in, in the cross here, wherever they need to be in order to show um, what I want. Now, one of the things that I do is uh, for my sections, because see, it can get a little, get a little messy here with all of this information uh, is that of course I will organize that first of all so that it's nice and neat and it's it's very legible and then simply uh, creates no maybe that's it um, so now there's should be or duplicate yeah I think it's duplicate um, if I, if I just copy this, yeah, I think it is duplicate. So it puts it right on top of the other one. And so then when I, when I move it over, uh, it has all the uh, organization and it's all clear, clarified here, which makes a lot more sense um, rather than going through and putting all my section lines in and then going back in and cleaning up all of the different levels at the same time, uh, each section. Okay, so I've moved my uh, screen a little bit. I've put the, my browser and my properties box on the same screen so that I can share it. But I uh, showed you how I leave it um, laid out before. So anyway, what we want to do is we're going to go up to the Manage tab, and then we go over to Project Parameters. Okay, and then here I have mine made already, but I'll say Add. And we're going to name it views two, we'll call it views two. And here we're going to make that a, a text. So let's come down here and uh, the name is views two. And we make this one text. And then we make this one ID data. So let's see. Identity data. Okay. And then the last one is we're going to come over here and click on views and say, okay. So we go up to the view tab. We come over to user interface. We come over here to browser organization. And we have to make a new one. So I'm going to just give it my name. I'll just call it file. OK. And then we're going to group it by our, what we call this, views to. So we're looking for views too. We'll say okay. And we'll say okay. So I split these up so we can see what's going on easier uh, instead of tabbing down at the bottom. But anyway, let's go over to our user interface now in our browser organization. We've made a new one. So we're going to say, um, we want to use this one. Oops. No. And so we've selected the new one. And now you can see what happens here is all of your um, different views that you've created here are all put together under question marks. So anything that you want to put, so let's say that you want to put this one, this one, and this one, just simply come over here. You have your views too. And now uh, you can put that in any category that you want. And now those are all in the uh, test category. Okay. You can call it 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 01 plans. So that's what I do um, user interface, browser organization. Go back to my new browser just to see that again. So now you can see I have my 0, 01 plans. Then uh, 
1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. Then when I get to two, that's my elevation. So I can subdivide it that way. And uh, it takes a little bit of effort, but the nice thing is that it's, it's uh, less, you know, for me, it's less searching through all of these of use to find what I want. You know, as long as I have my main sections open or I can uh, collapse them all and then come back here. I've got all of the sections there. They're all closed now. Whatever one I want to use on, use that. I'll just open that up and I can work with that one now. And until I want to see anything else, I don't have to worry about all of these other ones. And it's really uh, the main uh, project browser that comes from Revit is very uncluttered and very logistical or logical. But uh, you know, I've cluttered it up quite a bit over the years as uh, using my program here. And uh, now it's nice to be able to clean it up a little bit so that it makes more sense. And you know, really what we're talking about is we want to spend all of our effort being an architect uh, not trying to search for exactly the view that we're looking for. So I hope that was helpful.